I know this is not normal. I am somewhat of a clothes horse. I know I make a lot of videos on minimalism and I do really feel that minimalism is awesome and has so many great principles, but I'm not a minimalist in every category. So certainly for clothing, I definitely have a lot of things as you can see. My closet is in need of a clean out. It's gotten a little bit crazy. About a year and a half ago, I did do a closet clean out video. I will link it as a card if you wanna watch that after this one. It was a huge project and I said I was gonna keep my closet clean and since then I have had some things creep back in here. Now it's a little bit tight. The clothes are kind of pushed together. I've even doubled up on some things. I've got two things on a hanger. So we're going to go through it and I'm going to declutter with you guys in real time. I'm going to go through the whole process that I do for decluttering my closet. I'm going to give you all my little tips and tricks. Just so you know, I'm only going to take 15 minutes. I am going to set a timer, get through it all, and I'm aiming to have about 20 items to donate. I'm not going to be going through pants and I'm not going to be going through shoes or anything like that. This is all just going to be things that are hanging. So it's going to be like tops and sweaters, tank tops, that kind of a thing. Okay, so let's do this. These are my jeans and I'm not going to do my jeans. These are going to stay. I actually really like all of my jeans. So we're going to just move on to the tops. So this is going to be hard to see. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I might, I'm going to see what I'm going to do with this. I got this bag. It arrived on my birthday and I have no idea who sent it to me a few months ago. Um, I haven't used it yet. It's very much like a wintry bag, but just showing you guys that. As you can see, I have got stuff doubled up here. Like I've got this shirt on top of this shirt. I mean, it's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes. The countdown is on. One of the first things I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep a couple of things in mind. I'm going to be thinking about, is the item dirty or stained kind of beyond repair? Or if it's not, is it uncomfortable? Is it too tight? Do I never wear it? You know, do I feel uncomfortable in it? And then the other thing, have I not worn it in the last two years? One thing I will say, I'm not gonna get rid of anything that's sentimental. So if I've got things that I really enjoy and have like a sentimental kind of attachment to them, I'm not gonna get rid of them. So maybe I'll find something and I can talk through that. Okay, so these things I all wear. I wear all of this. I, I can't even get my stuff out here this one this is inside out but i just haven't worn this i got this like a year ago and i thought i would wear it i thought i would love it and i don't so i'm gonna donate that okay speaking of uncomfortable i put this on yesterday i think this is a really cute shirt but it is just not comfortable i i, I want to wear it and every time i put it on i end up just being uncomfortable and taking it off this one, I have not worn this in two years. So this is another one that can go. You know what? This shirt here, I just have not worn it. It's from Ann Taylor. I just, I don't wear it. So I'm going to get rid of that as well. Okay. So let's keep going. Um, it's going to be hard. I'm going to try to move you guys so you can see in here. Oh my God, I'm already at 12 minutes. Let's see here. This is a little bit sentimental. My mom gave this to my daughter, but what's funny is this was mine when I was in high school. I, I don't know. So I'm just going to keep that. Some of these things, definitely sentimental. Oh my gosh, this, as you can see, have not worn that. So I'm going to donate that. Okay, so I'm up to four things. This, okay, I'm going to keep that. I thought I don't really wear it, but I kind of do. And I, and I do like it. Wear all of these items. Great. Okay. Moving on to the other side of the closet. Now we're into the black items. As you can see, I color code my closet. This is like the easiest way for me to do it so that I can see exactly what I have. And, and if I, you know, can't, this helps me like get ready in the morning so that I can match things. But then it also, okay, sorry, donating this. This is my daughter's. I, I just haven't, she gave it to me and I haven't worn it. I've been looking for this shirt. My point about color coding here is if you color code, you can kind of know which area of your closet to look in if you're, if you know, you want to find something. Okay. Kind of still going through here. Great. I like all of these. Okay. Hmm. This shirt underneath, I'm going to think I'm going to donate that as well. So this shirt here is, I actually wore this in a video and I liked it, but I just don't wear it. And, and it's 
I just haven't been wearing it. All right, so let's see here. I wear all of these things and I still enjoy them. I, I donated this at one point and then I went back in the donation bag and got it out because I was like, you know what? I still like it. I don't, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. So I, so I'm keeping that. I've got these things. I still wear all of these items. Yes, yes, yes. All right. All right. So we're moving along here. Hey, we're getting into this section of the closet now. So let's see what we can find in here. This one. Oh my gosh. These used to be, um, they're like embellishments and they used to be white and now they're yellow. That is hilarious. But I am still going to keep this. I feel like it's going to come back in style and I really like it. This shirt I'm a little on the fence about. I've only worn it once, but I'm going to keep it and I'll try to see if I can wear that again. Okay. I love all of these things. Yep. I enjoy all of this stuff. Okay. Yes. This one. I haven't worn this in a while. I think I'm going to get rid of it. Definitely haven't worn it in two years. So there's another one. My pile is getting bigger here. I think I'm going to be able to find some stuff in here. Where are we? Oh gosh, you guys, we still have almost nine minutes left. And if you've noticed, I'm doing the no mess decluttering method, which means that I am not making a mess. I'm not taking everything out at one time. I am simply removing and working right where I am. You know, you can do it the other way. That's the Marie Kondo way. And I have done it that way. It doesn't really work for me, but I know a lot of people love that. So, so think about how you want to do it. But for me, just kind of standing here, yanking stuff out that I'm not wearing, putting in a pile, that's the, the best method for me. So just think what could work for you. Okay, this dress is totally sentimental. I bought this and I wore it to my rehearsal dinner for my wedding. So I'm definitely keeping that, even though I don't really wear it. Maybe it will come back in style sometime. Okay, I still wear all of this stuff. We're at seven minutes. Let's see, I still wear that. Yeah, I still do wear a lot of this stuff, even though there's a lot here and you wouldn't think that I, you know, would wear all of this. This is also sentimental for me. I got this in Paris 24 years ago or so, and I wore it for the first day of my job. Um, and I've been at my job for 20, 21, 22 years now. So I don't know why it's, it's, I don't know why it's sentimental to me, but I'm going to keep it. Let's see. Okay. I do not wear this. I used to really like plaid shirts. I just haven't worn them in a while. So I'm going to donate that. All right. Keeping on going. Uh, I may wear this one, so I'm going to hang on to it. This one's new, haven't worn it yet, but I do really enjoy it. Okay, I enjoy all of these things. This one, you know what, I'm gonna, I got it last year. I'm gonna hang on to it and see if I wear it. Okay, this one underneath, I don't wear it at all. I wanted to like it, it just kind of looks weird. So I'm gonna donate it. There's no need to hang on to it. And then I've got this tank top here. Let's see. Yep, I wear this, this, wear that. Apparently I do not wear this one. I'm gonna try to make an effort to wear it. Okay guys, I've gotten through my whole closet. Okay, I have five minutes and I'm just gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I have 10 items to donate. That's not bad. I'm going to fold this stuff up. I'm going to put it in a donation pile and I'm going to take it to the donation center when I've got enough stuff in my car to go. I will say I don't sell anything because, you know, so this one with the tag on it, you're probably thinking, oh, you could sell that. I, do, I just have a personal rule. I don't sell anything unless I can get $50 or more for it. Obviously, I only probably paid like $20 for this or so because I know I got this on Amazon. So I'm not going to get 50 for it. So I'm just going to donate it. I like to make it easy on myself. I don't want to go back and forth with people online. Even this, I know that this was a little bit expensive, but again, just donating everything. Hopefully somebody will stumble on it in the, in the thrift store and they will love it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and we decluttered 10 things together. I'm going to link another video if you want to keep it going. Click on it and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.